Do -do -do -do. <laughs> hey guys, my name's Ryan House, and welcome back to my show. Did you guys like my intro? <laughs> well, we're gonna play some more uh, Europa Universalis Rome today, and today we had. Let's see here. We had some ideas about how to go after Macedonia, so we'll be doing that. And everything looks good on the border, and our manpower pool is getting back to where we need it. I think I'm going to wait till it gets up to about 60,000 or so. And we're going to start peeling armies away. I think this is a safe army to peel away here. Okay. Let's see here. We'll take one archer. Uh, one cohort of Principe. Should I take the cavalry? Yeah, we'll take the cavalry. Yeah, we'll take these two cavalry at least. And then we're going to move these guys to Rome. We're going to start building another army here. Alright. And I think I'm just going to take the entire army from Syracuse. Might as well. So we'll have it march up to Rome. And what else do we have here? 15,000 men on the borders. If I lower it to... Uh, let's see here. If I take some of their archers... See, I have to do this. i got to go around and pick off some of these cavalry units. You know what? We might just go into, like, deficit-style spending as far as the army is concerned, you know? Um, just till we beat up on Macedonia. Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, what are we at? Military 73 out of 74, so we can afford one for free, and then the rest will just come naturally. Okay. So, let's see here. It's going to be pretty expensive. And I didn't save a lot of money, but let's see here. Army's at negative uh, 1.36. Not bad, not bad. Okay. And then this army will stay there. This will go to Rome. It's going to pick up everybody here. All right. So, horse archers, archers, principe, equite, we're going to get everybody. Alright. So, two archers, more archers, equite, horse archers, plenty of principe, and some more archers. And I think, let's see here. Ah, oh, the forum was built. Good. Very good. <clears throat> Let us see here. Principe. Yeah, I have two provinces here that I can build horses at. That's right. That's right. So we'll build them there. We'll build them here. And this will be a nice sized army that we're going to have. And who is this leader here? <clears throat> Base? Excuse me here. One second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Had to clear my throat. My throat part. Okay. I'm in a pretty good mood today. I, uh, I had a pretty good uh, college class last night, and everything went really well. So... Uh, I've been back in school for about the last year now, and I'm enjoying it, enjoying school, finishing up. I have about uh, a year left of college, and then I should be done. Maybe only a class or here, here or there. Um, so I'm really close to getting my degree in business. I know there's a lot of business degrees out there, but... I also served in the uh, the Marine Corps, so my resume looks pretty pretty solid. And I am still looking for a uh, career job, something something bigger than what I got right now. So, all right, let's see. That's a nice stack of. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, organize these guys into unit types real quick here. Oops, <laughs> oops. All right, let's see. Nah, why am I doing that? That makes no sense. Let's not do that. Let's just get everybody over here. 18,000. Bam. Already. Just like that. Got a nice sized army there. 
Let's see, 6,000 heavy infantry, 4,000 cavalry, 3,000 horse archers. Yeah, we just need more principe. So we'll build them. Now, this is my final plan that I have for... No, she died. My final plan that I had was to have a large group of men, uh, 29 units, in fact, the full 29, with an excellent leader here in Thessaly. The rest will come over here and take all of these Greek provinces here, and we'll take these over here, leaving the Macedonians with no income other than what they get from Macedonia itself. And then uh, they won't be getting any uh, manpower every month, just what they get from Macedonia, which will not cover any of the losses that they're about to incur. I wanted to show you guys something on the ledger that I found. Let me see if I could figure out how to find it again. Here we go. Okay, Macedonia has 31,000 men held in reserve that they can call up upon. And another 28,000 on the field right now. So if I wipe out a stack or I deplete a stack, uh, it would take only a couple battles like that and Macedonia all of a sudden is out of manpower. Not only that, but taking all their territories will <laughs> will be much easier to uh, concede a defeat out of them and I'll be able to take uh, more of their land. My objective here is to make Macedonia, Macedonia impotent from now on. They will no longer be a regional threat in Greece and I can go around taking over Greece at my leisure. It will be a leisurely activity. Yes, so the day of reckoning has come for Macedonia, my friends. The last war, they let us have a foothold in Thessaly, which is probably the worst province that we could have got from them. I mean, as far as the Macedonians are concerned, it was a huge loss for the Macedonians because I have separated their kingdom, the land route at least. All I have to do is put a huge blocking force here, and the entire southern half of Macedonia is cut off. It's great. It is great. Let's go pick on some ships real quick. Alright. So I think I want 12,000 heavy infantry. I want, a, uh, I want extra infantry, that's for sure. Alright, so we wiped out those pirates. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Have them sit in Rome real quick for a little bit. Alright. What do we have here? Heavy infantry, cavalry, archers. Heavy infantry. Let's give them one unit of archers. Just to beef up that side's garrison a little bit. I'm not too worried about any barbarians coming from this direction. So... If need be, this is our force in reserve. Uh, I don't know if I want to move to Benonia, but it's a force in reserve. The long distances they can, they can go to Pali Veneti to help out, or Gallius Cisalpina directly. So, it'll be good. I'm ready. I'm ready to rock and roll. I've been looking forward to this. I didn't record any episodes yesterday because I had class, so I had to have my priorities straight. Uh, finish class, you know, finish school. So, but today, today I'm energized. I'm ready to do this. Prosecution. Help them out, man. Help them out. Alright, so, we're going to have... Let's see here. Let's add that up. 24,000 plus another 14,000. 38,000 men. Okay. I think I'm going to bring that up to... We're at 80 right now. We'll build another two. And it's time to pass an omen, yeah. Might as well pass the Blessing of Mars for now. So, in case it failed. But it didn't. Excellent. And we can build some province, provincial improvements. But uh, I'll wait on that. I want to get some uh, funding for the war. And we just got our stability back up. Let's see here. If I declare war, yep. We have a cast of Spelly on them, so we could, we're free to declare war with no stability cost. Unlike last time, we had a stability hit. And then we passed some reforms, which hit our stability even further. And then I didn't have enough money in the bank. And then we got a, uh, a populist faction leader, which increased the cost of stability. And so we were down in the dumps as far as stability was concerned for a while. 
But now we're ready again. We are ready. And look at this. Look at this, guys. Come on over here. The revolt risk here. It's down to 1.9. Isn't that awesome? We have a we have the merciful governor over here. So these places over here are pretty much set. In fact, you know what? Because their uh, their revolt risk is so low now, I'm not even worried about them. I'm going to move them over to Syracuse. Even that revolt risk over there is pretty low. You know what? This is going to be our reserve force. This force will deal with any rebellions. <clears throat> This force here, though, is going to come along and join us in the campaign against Macedonia. All right. Very good. Very good. Indeed. Oops, right here. New commander. Well, let's see here. Who wants to be the commander? Marcus. Elias Mantulius. No. Okay. I want a really good general here. Six six seven. Hmm? He's a conqueror. His loyalty is going down because he's the leader of the populist army, huh? This man here, however, he has loyal units. Yeah. This man, he's the uh, he's a consul. Yeah, he won't rebel on us. Okay. He will not rebel on us, so we're good with that man. All right, and then we're gonna have these legions. We'll add up the total over there, so that's like uh, 32, actually 32, 46,000 men, 47 now, okay. Forty-seven thousand men? Yeah, we can do that. We can make this happen. Alright. So, let's combine all that. Who's this? Huh. Kind of wanted. Well, no problem there. No problem. All right. So, Thessaly here. 29,000 men. Okay. We'll move to Epirus. This man here, actually, we're going to, let's see. We'll peel units off of here. I'm going to be doing a naval invasion, so we'll just drop off smaller units here. I'm thinking like two to 2,000 men per province here, and then the big stack there. Did we just get a new console? No. No, we didn't. Okay. Not sure what I was seeing there. Let's look at this. Oh, he just became rich, and we lost the governor of Macedonia. Oh, okay. He died at 75. Wow, that guy was pretty old. Let's see if anybody else wants to be governor of Macedonia. Nobody really wants to be governor of the Greeks, apparently. <laughs> Which this guy right here? Uh, could be one of our military leaders. Unfortunately, no. Four, six, one. <laughs> yep. So we got yo. All right. Whoop. Off to the rat race here. How many units can we support? We can only support thirty-seven. Hmm. Okay. So we have thirty-four, and here we can only support twenty-nine. So I'm gonna do some uh, unit uh, shuffle. Nice little unit shuffle here. Okay. Let's see here. Actually, let's pull the ships out. And we have 18,000 heavy infantry, archers. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Need one more. One more. Five. 
Okay, so... This army here... I will split up into segments. Oops, did it again. I just want individual armies here. Individual regiments. These men can go on the boat. And we'll actually hit, have them <clears throat> sit in Tarentum to regain uh, unit attrition. And we're almost at 60,000, pretty much. And we should offer sacrifice, they say. Sure, why not? Let's do it. Okay, so that should cut down revolt risks a little bit. Okay, so. Now we're talking. Now that has 29,000 men. This army is going to sit in Thessaly. Or, uh, yeah, Thessaly. This army is going to move to Epirus. Excellent. <clears throat> and we'll wait for this army here to get back to full. And we're ready to rock and roll, gentlemen and ladies. Let's see. Sacrilege. They gained a temple in Syracuse. Good, good, good. So many of these people want death of arrival. Like, they have nothing better to do than to uh, fight with each other. A lot of seven martial leaders. That's good. We can't seem to get any of them to serve. None of them have served as consul. And I believe that's the... Let's see here. To be appointed as legate. These are the conditions to be appointed as legate. He has to be male. Uh, the country has to allow female jobs if, if uh, he is not a male. He has to be older than 18. He must not already be a commander. He must not be a governor, he must not be a magistrate, he must not be a prisoner, and one of the following must be true. His country must have a monarchy or tribalism. Huh, what about a republic? I don't understand that. Okay, he had to have been a ruler, a former legate, a former consul, a former proconsul, a former praetor, a former pro praetor, or is a former censor. Okay. Okay, so if we wanted to, who's our current praetor? This man? This man's a very good uh, praetor. So if we wanted to free him up for this battle, for this war here, we could do that right now. And I believe we are. Let's see here. Let's find somebody with high charisma to replace him. And some loyalty is good as well. Now, this man should become, or should be allowed to become, there he is, Marcus Aemilius Paulus. Excellent. Well, welcome to the military, my dear friend. You are going to be our leading general there because I'm guessing, let's see here, employed people, highest martial value, seven. Unemployed, highest martial value, eight. This man would be, an, these guys are excellent leaders. We need to groom, we need to groom him. And I'm guessing, uh, why is he already... How does he get loyal units? He has one loyal unit. Huh. Okay. Well, well then. Let me see here. Uh, any of the other conditions that we could possibly fulfill? Former legate, consul, proconsul, former praetor, praetor, former censor. Okay. Currently we have these men. Let's look at unemployed and let's look at martial skill. I know martial skill isn't the best for censors. Okay, yeah, censors, in order to be a censor, you have to be a proconsul. Okay, so that makes sense. So, one of the ways to get that extra, those extra legates in, is to have these praetor positions filled. So, we need to look at that in the future if we want some uh, excellent commanders. Like this guy right here, excellent leader, I'm sure. Yeah, excellent leader. Whoa. He's a bad leader. He's just good for charisma. So he could later lead as a legate. Okay. Excellent. Finesse 7, Marshall 7, Charisma 7. Ooh, yeah. Stability cost modifier. Excellent. This guy is nice right here. Marcus Emilius Paulus. 
There you guys go. He's badass. Religious faction leader. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And he's also leading the army. How about that? So he gained a promotion as consul and a promotion as a legate. Not bad. Not bad for a, a praetor. A pro praetor. In fact, does that give him pro praetor? It sure does. Look at that. It was second only to consul. Pro praetors went on to be uh, governor region after their term as a magistrate. Excellent. That's pretty cool. So he's uh, second in line, basically, to the consul himself. Gaius Attilus and Carvilla Maximus Secunda, they married each other. Good job. Good job. Alright, so our armies are in place. Macedonia has 24 ships, which does remind me. We might as well start building a few more ships. Oops, wrong button. There we go. We'll build a few more ships. Doesn't hurt. And, uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened here? Oh boy. You think they know that we're preparing for war against them? That's why they want to move their army south? They couldn't be that genius. No, no, no. They could be. <laughs> Let's hope they are not. Okay, to ensure that they are not that genius, and to ensure that we are still more genius, we will declare war on them starting now. Declare war. Uh, not everybody agrees, but hey, this is war. Alright guys, so the war has begun. We are now preparing to invade. <clears throat> Border disputes. Yep, the leader has a border dispute with Macedonia. This will be a force held in reserve to add that extra weight against Macedonia. And we're hoping to catch this fleet right now. Whoa! He's a pretty paltry leader, but we do outnumber them. I didn't think about our, <laughs> our fleet commander. That could be pivotal. Wow, it's looking pretty pivotal, too. There we go. I think Wade is coming into play here. Now ah, we lost a man. What do our ships look like here? <clears throat> They're close to losing some, but I'm sure we are too. Alright, I think they lost some ships there. We're losing some ships now. Okay, our leader pretty much sucks. Yeah, now we're losing a bunch of ships. <laughs> okay. Not a fair trade. Not a fair trade at all. What was that? That was a good roll. Man. I'm sure they realized that, um, our commander sucks, so they're just going to bleed him dry. Whoa, they got 20 units there? So they did move the units. They did move them south. How about that? Well, we're going to move in then and take Macedonia. They were smart about it. Jeez. Never underestimate the Macedonians. I'm serious. This naval landing force won't even work now. Because of that. Okay. Alright, let's ramp up the heat on them then. Build one there. 
We're gonna need more ships, obviously. More ships for the grinder. And for price sakes, let's put a competent leader in charge. Yeah, let's do that. There you go, congratulations. All right, so this army here we're gonna wipe out, most definitely. Hopefully, this guy was pretty wretched, actually. Uh, let's see here. Serve loyal units. Here we go, this man here. He's loyal. All right. So we'll separate and conquer. There we go. It's looking good. And that's a pretty good martial value leader there. And we wipe them out, and they're about to fall on this legion here and get smushed. Okay. In the meantime, we're going to repair our fleet. I know they're down to 20 ships. But we're already getting back up. And, good, he has no loyal ships. Governor considers independence in Gallia Cisalpina. Are you shitting me? Come now, come, come. Slight risk of regional independence. We can't have that. So I'm going to need to talk to this man here. Hey. What's your problem over here? Corrupt, assertive. <sighs> we might have to bribe him. Okay. And can we hold a triumph? Senate doesn't want to hold a triumph, but we will possibly hold a triumph. No, we will not. Okay. Cancel. New commander. Of what legion? Second legion? Where is second legion? Second legion. Sure, go for it. Okay. So that army should get wiped out. Offices are empty. Quintus Algulinius Gallus has passed away. He was our Edile, and we wiped out an entire army of Macedonia there. Good work. If we look at our ledger really quick, uh, Macedonia, 30,000. If they rebuild those units, they'll be even lower. So what was I doing here? Yes, uh, technology, Edile. Let's appoint a man, shall we? Somebody with some charisma. Who's unemployed? And wants to become Edile. Nope, nobody. Okay, then we'll just appoint ourselves here. This man, Gaius Dulis. Alright. Gain five senators, Mercalist Party. Okay. We'll salt the walls. Because we might as well. Reform the fleet. And let's see here. Let's see if they will come out and play with our fleet. They might. And am I at war with anybody else? Let's see here. Come over here. At war with Macedonia, Bithynia, Rhodes, Pontus, Bosporan Kingdom, and Aetolian League. Wow, I didn't know we were at war with all those people. That's pretty crazy. Wow. In that case, let's see here. Call to arms, very likely. We'll call in our allies. Yes. And let's see here. They said Rhodes, right? Okay. Let's get our ships out there to go and play. And they have quite a few allies this time around. They're going to build up a larger army. 